Yo, I am on your screen again. This is your host, Vicky Tom Tom, and I am welcoming you specially to Scholars 411. All right, before we even go on to why I am on your screen today, please, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please hit on the subscribe button and please turn on the notification button so you can get instant notification on any video we are posting yes and please do not forget to comment don't forget to like do not forget to share this video to who you feel might need it yes so this one is for our neko 2022 people yeah let me hear some noise yeah this one is for you guys because you guys have been asking when are you going to post video about us yeah we don't call more so this one is for you guys neko 2022 candidates now you know how we do it in scholars for one now you are not new here now or oh, but if you are new here this is how we do this scholars for one every exam we are talking about we try to give you enough fundamentals about the exam yes so what is neko neko can be described as the national examination council it is a body in nigeria that organized this exam like it's an o-level exam that prepares you for your higher or the higher institution in Nigeria. Now, it is a senior secondary school certificate examination for school candidates. Do you understand? Now, this 2022 NECO is starting on Monday, the 27th of June, and it is finishing on Friday, the 12th of August, 2022. Now, these are the things I must warn you or I must tell you about NECO. 2022 these are the things you need to know in order for you to pass in flying colors in neko 2022 before i even start please if you've not subscribed you are new here do not forget to subscribe do not forget to turn on the notification button to get instant notification on any time we drop a video please do not forget to like do not forget to comment and do not forget to share this video to who you feel might need it so yeah let's go into why or let's go into things you need to know about neko 2022 First of all is your time allocation. Time is very important. Your time allocation is very important for your exam you are going to do. So please, if you want to write your NECO 2022, start timing yourself, bypass questions and start timing yourself. NECO exam, the time allocation for NECO exam is three hours. Sorry, it's two hours, 30 minutes, not three hours, sorry. Two hours or two hours, 30 minutes. Do you understand? So time yourself, give yourself enough time, um, rehearse or practice your time even before you get into the exam hall. Do you understand? Not in the exam hall, you start allocating your time. If you don't time yourself even before you start writing your NECO 2022, then in the exam hall, you are going to misuse your time and you are not going to write all your questions or all your answers, which is not going to give you enough marks. Do you understand? Which, of course, if you don't have enough marks, it means you didn't pass. So time allocation is a key factor in any exam you're writing. Two, lateness. Do not go late for any reason. Scholars 101 has always begged right from the time we always, we've started. Do not go late for any exam, especially NECO 2022. Please. Number two is stressing yourself before your exam. Do not stress yourself before your exam. Adi Ola, Ola Oluwa, that thing you are reading. Amaka, that thing you are reading. It will not enter your head. Pressure, that thing you are reading now. It will not enter your head now. Do you understand? That thing you are reading six hours before your exam. It will not go enter. All those things you are cramming, they will flush out before you enter the exam. Give your brain enough time. Don't stress that brain hours before your exam. Calm down hours before your exam so your brain can work. Please, the things you've read before can even manifest or can even come out. Do you understand? Out of your head. So stop stressing that head six hours before your exam. Do not stress yourself before your exam. Read your questions carefully. Please. There is nothing bad in reading questions five times even before you start answering it because questions are very tricky, especially in NECO. And this NECO 2022, they are not smiling with you guys. So please do not forget to read your questions before you start. Read them carefully. Now start with the ones you know. I know you know that one, but I'm just telling you and reminding you again. Start with the questions you are very familiar with. Do you understand? Avoid exam malpractice of any form, please. If you get caught, you are going directly to prison. So please avoid exam malpractice, please, because I don't want to see you in prison. You're one of our subscribers. We love you. Do you understand? Now, submit on time. That's where time allocation comes in. If you allocate your time properly, you should be able to submit on time. Now, these are the things you need to know before you enter that exam hall. Do you understand? When you're in the exam hall, these are the things that will happen. And these are the things we give you tips to know so that when you get to the exam hall you are not surprised now please do not forget the first one is follow your supervisor's instructions 
Do you understand? Any instruction your supervisor is going to give you, please follow his instructions fully. Yes, follow every of his instructions. Do not leave anyone unfollowed. Now, pray before you start. Take out time to pray so that you can reduce your exam tension. And of course, prayer works for you. So now, how your questions are going to look like on your screen is how your necro questions are going to look like. That is how your questions are going to look like because some of you, this is the first time you are doing your NECO exam. So those are how your questions are going to look like. Yeah, so apart from how your questions are going to look like, these are the terms used in NECO examination. If you see list, explain, sorry, not list, explain. If you see list, enumerate, and itemize. They what they mean is just list and go to the next point. So if they tell you what are the courses, list five or enumerate or it's five courses of courtism in Nigeria, just list for them and move on to the very next one. Now, in case you hear what, what is courtism or in case you hear define courtism, they're both the same words. Just give a brief or two definitions so you can get more mark on courtism because NECO, the way they mark their scripts, the way the examiners mark their script is quite, you know, it's quite, um, I don't know, it's quite different. So give more points so that you get more marks. So give at least two definitions or even more if you have. So if you hear state, highlight, name, mention, identify, outline, or give reasons. This one means another thing. This one is in another category. Now if you hear this word, state, highlight, name, mention, identify, outline, or give reasons. This one means when you list them, explain briefly two lines about what you just listed do you understand yes that is what it means so do not just list for them and run away list and explain before and always look at your mark oh look at your mark because when you see your mark you know how many marks is being apportioned to it if you will explain three lines four lines or if you just explain two lines now another one is list and explain if you see list and explain it means list that thing and explain very well. If you see list and explain, if you see explain, if you see defense, if you see describe, if you see discuss, if you see expantiate, if you see elucidate, these words means the same thing and in the same category. Do you understand? If you see these words, it means explain fully what you know on that particular topic or that particular word they are giving you so that is that if you see com compare and contract if you see a um, difference between if you see differentiate if you see difference of they still mean the same word it means what is the difference between this and what is the difference between that i hope you understand what i'm saying if you see with the aid of diagram it means withdrawing explain these words they are saying do you understand? For example, for people doing economics, if they say we did the aid of diagram, define demand. Do you understand? That means draw what demand is. We know you know it in words, but don't give it to us in words. Now, with diagram, drawing what demand is. That's with the aid of diagram. Now, please, I must beg you, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit on the notification button so you can get instant notification on any NECO 2022 update we're about to give you here in Scholars for One. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to comment, like, share this video to anybody you think might need it. And please, 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 do not forget to subscribe. That's the most important thing. That's what I want to say. So until you see me again on your screen, I am your host, Vicky Tom Tom, and this is Colors 411. Bye!